Ladies, gentlemen, and residents of Lumberjillville, welcome to a very special episode of Mayor Aaron's Toy Box, a show inspired by the Firefly Funhouse. Which brings me to the most recent tragic news, and that is that we lost Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt. Now my heart truly goes out to all the friends, family, and all the fans that are affected by his passing. Mayor Aaron! Oh, Hey, Silly Jilly. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think today's a day for silliness or even happiness. What do you mean? Today's video is a perfect time for that. Well, what do you mean? But you just said it. Bray's creativity has inspired you, Mayor Aaron. We need to celebrate his life and his memory by throwing some positivity into the community. You know what? You're right. I mean, a lot of what I do here was inspired by Bray, the Firefly Funhouse segments, and all the creativity that he brought. So you know what? We're going to honor Bray today, and we're going to try to do what I always try to do on the channel, and try to not only bring smiles to the faces of the viewers, but also honor Bray. Great idea! How do you plan on doing that? Hmm... I know! I'll rank my top five favorite Bray Wyatt figures in my collection. Now, I don't have all of his figures, but a lot of these are very sentimental to me, and I'd like to talk about it. Oh, I love it, Mayor Aaron. Bray's memory lives on through all of us. Absolutely. Now, we all know that I don't collect men's figures here in Lumberjillville, but I had six Bray figures, so he's definitely special to me. I think this is a good idea. <laughs> Well, if you reviewed men's figures, then more people would watch your lousy channel. Oh boy, everybody. Look who it is. It's the My Whole Troll. Here to cause some more trouble. Clap, clap, clap. Trouble? I just state facts. And then write about them in message boards to share my intellect with the world. Oh. Um, Mr. My Whole Troll, can you, uh, show me one of your posts? I want to see a true genius at work. Uh, I mean, uh, sure, okay, uh, okay, okay. W watch me write a post right now. <clears throat> Dear Peg Warming Women's Wrestling Figure Community, I am here... <coughs> oh, looks like my whole troll got a little too slammed to make his post. Well anyways, let's dive into my top 5 favorite Bray Wyatt figures in the countdown. Thanks for watching the intro! At number 5, I have Elite Series 92 release in 2022. Now in my opinion, this is the most unique Fiend Bray Wyatt figure that we got. This portrays the Burnt Fiend as he is known. You know, after an angle where he was caught on fire, he came back as the Burnt Fiend and it was incredible. It was a blink and you miss it run, honestly, because later on he made the transition, I think it was at WrestleMania, and turned magically into the old fiend and healed and everything, I guess. I don't know how that worked, but either way, it was a very short run with this burnt fiend gimmick, if you will. But I think it's cool, and I think this figure is tremendous. The sculpting detail, the intricate paint on it, everything about this figure is amazing. And in my opinion, it, it might be one of the best wrestling figures ever made. It is truly incredible, and that's why I have it at number five. Next up, I have WWE Superstars Series 1 released in 2022. Now, this is the one WWE Superstars figure I have in my collection because, you know, as y'all can tell, I'm a big fan of Bray, but... I love this figure. It's so cool, so unique, and I love that he has that Mad Hatter appearance, and it was a real quick segment. You'll have to research on the internet to see what this attire is based off of, but it was real quick, very obscure, but I think it is so cool, so unique, and really stands out, and I love this figure. Now, the crazy thing about it is when they released this figure, a lot of people were confused because this WWE Superstars line has mostly been a callback to Legends. But I think it's safe to say now 
that Bray Wyatt is a legend and he deserved to be in this line. At number three, I have Elite Series 77, the SummerSlam Wave, released in 2020. Now, this was the Fiend's first in the line figure, and boy, this figure was a hot seller. And this is number three for mostly sentimental reasons. You know, I told you that was going to play a part in my countdown here. And uh, this figure, as I mentioned, was a hot seller. It was hard to find, and I was going to Walmart every day, sometimes twice a day, multiple Walmarts, and one day I found two of them on the pegs. Got one for the treasure, one for me, and I was just so happy to find this. And uh, yeah, this figure is definitely iconic, and this is the start of many, many Fiend figures that were released. At number two, I have Bray Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse Ringside Collectibles exclusive figure released in 2020. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the best Ringside Collectibles figure exclusives they have ever released. This figure is so much fun, comes with so many unique accessories, and the package design is unreal. It's one of a kind. Now, I'm going to be honest, this Bray figure is not the best. He has this red painted on shirt, and I believe there is some promo somewhere, somehow, along his Firefly Funhouse run that he did wear something similar to this, but we all know him from the red sweatshirt, so we do get better Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse figures in the future, so the figure's not the best, but what makes this set really stand out is the packaging that comes with this backdrop of the Firefly Funhouse. It even has little windows that you can insert the puppets in. And yes, we do get Abby the Witch. We do get Ramblin' Rabbit. We do get Mercy the Buzzard. And we even get Devil Vince. And a lot of these, this is the only way to get those. So the inclusion of all those puppets and how awesome and unique the backdrop is makes this figure stand out. And uh, in my opinion, it's one of the best figure sets out there honestly me and my daughter opened this you know years ago when it came out and we had so much fun with it so i love this set and at number one i have elite series 85 released in 2021 now this one is a strong sentimental favorite in my opinion now the reason is i was visiting my family over the summer with my daughter we were driving home we stopped at a random walmart i think in kentucky or something and I came across Elite 85 for the first time in stores, and I saw this Bray. And without hesitation, I picked it up, bought it, and I planned on opening it and reviewing it, but I got back to the hotel room, and I looked at it, and I just think it's such a cool figure to have MOC. It, it's something about it is just special. I can't really explain it. I can't put my finger on it. But either way, down the line, I remember asking my daughter, hey, should I open this up and display it? She said, no, keep it in the package. And I have. And that was months ago. So this figure is definitely special. And it's special because it comes with Huskus the Pig Boy. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, and I'll talk about it a little later, Huskus the Pig Boy is probably my favorite character in the Firefly Funhouse. So I just really love this figure. It brings joy to me, brings happiness to me. And I'm going to keep this in my collection forever and keep an MOC. And yeah, this is just very special and to me it is my favorite Bray Wyatt figure in my collection. Thanks for watching today's video y'all. Um, my goal for today was to try to bring a smile to the faces of anyone out there that might be struggling with this news. You know my heart goes out so deeply to his family, his friends, and all the fans out there that are affected by this. You know I can only speak from personal experience but Bray's creativity his energy his passion really showed and it inspired me it inspired a lot of what i do here in lumber Joeville. you know i learned to have fun try to be positive do silly things and not worry what other people think and um he played a big part in that so this one was a very difficult one for me to make now i'm always going to have this shrine up in lumber Joeville to honor bray and um Old Huskus the Pig Boy here will be right next to me every time I go to sleep. It's very special to me. You know, the first Raw that I went to years ago after I was struggling with a very difficult battle. You know, I had such a good time and it brought so much joy to me. And he had a really cool Firefly Funhouse segment on it. And I saw this in the store and I picked it up for my daughter. And my daughter loves it. And I do too. So, last thing I want to say is... Bray, you know, thank you for all you've brought to not just me, but the whole wrestling community. And I love you.